Verva Litvinov fans must be in dreamland right now. Last spring, Litvinov made the Czech playoff semifinals for the first time this century, and then they went ahead and won their first ever Extraliga title. Now they're in the Champions Hockey League, and after a 4-1 win over Grenoble on Thursday, Vadim Rulik's side looked to complete a perfect opening weekend against the Blues of Espoo in the Barona Arena. The first period started to go Litvinov's way. Number 18, Frantisek Gerhat driving to the net, finding space and dinging the goalpost behind Christian Engstrand. Gerhat able to work his way in front of the net, took a deflection and hit the pipe. Still no score as Victor Vestermark collected the puck in his own end. Vestermark coast to coast through the defense on the backhand and the save made by Yaroslav Yanis. Vestermark defenseman for Espoo. Looking very much like a forward there and drawing a nice save out of the Slovakian Janus. Now Blues on the power play. Puck passed in front and the one-timer is zapped just off the outside of the post by Kai Cantala. So at the end of the first period of play, we were scoreless. He was controlling the puck at the start of the second period, but the play broken up and a two-on-one rush the other way. Puck worked eventually onto the stick of Frantisek Lukesh. His save was made. Then the other end, you see Mackinen with the wrister that just sailed high and wide. And back to the point, booming shot off the mask of Yanis, and then he covered it the third attempt. Still scoreless later in the second period as Peter Jansky rushes in on the right wing. Jansky pulls up, drops it off for Victor Hubel. His wrister is saved, but the rebound poked out of the air and into the net by Jansky. Great interplay between Hubel and then Jansky. Engstrand made the first save, but in trying to sprawl to his right to block the tip from Jansky, gave just enough space between his five hole for Jansky to squeeze the puck through. Even strength goal gives Litvinov the one nothing lead. But Espoo counterattacks through Yari Silio. Great rush and then dinging the post. Yari Silio. Splitting the three defenders, but not quite beating Yanis off his left-hand goal post. Litvinov clinging onto that lead. Now an unorthodox save by Yanis as that puck was tipped by Peter Tivola. Yanis complaining about something, probably his form there as he sprawled to the ice. Did just enough though to keep the score 1-0 at the end of 40 minutes of play. Now into the third period. Litvinov giveaway in their own end. Puck worked onto the backhand of Ruba. Robert Ruba's chance just missing. And a feather pass in front for Marcus Paukula, who can't quite get on the end of it. And Litvinov the other way. Pavel Pisarik with a great solo rush onto the forehand, but Engstrand making the save. Great butterfly technique by Engstrand. And a giveaway in the Litvinov attacking end. Another save made by Engstrand, this time from Gerhardt. Puck still loose. Player nearly goes down to the ice, but no penalty called. Engstrand completely out of control there, but still able to make the saves. And Kemel Pirosh off the goal post, just off the outside of the net. And then late on, six on five action, a flurry of opportunities in front of Yanis's goal. Engstrand pulled. Yanis there making the save, trying to drop the puck and quickly move play forward, but with less than 30 seconds to go, real concerted pressure from Espoo. Back to the point. Kukunen shot just goes high and wide. Then Iro Sumervori worked it back to the point. Again on Sarantakari in front, save made. Sumervori off the side of the net. Again in front, Rantakari winding one up, another save made. Puck still loose. Hershevitz. Looking for Rantakari again, but another right pad save by Yanis. Yaroslav Yanis recording 36 saves on 36 shots. Livinov just about doing enough to hang on for the 1-0 victory that puts them firmly in control of CHL Group F.